and so much is going on with our City College Knights teams. David Perdell is here with more about what has been going on this season. David? Yes, thank you, Gabe. Yeah, a lot has been going on. Let's go to the soccer field first, where the men's team currently sit in first place in the conference. In their last six games, the Knights have scored a total of 15 goals. There's one right there off a free kick. And as the regular season is coming to an end, the Knights are eyeing a conference championship title and are poised to make a strong playoff push next month. The team is led by Francisco, Co Francisco Contreras, who you see right there, gets the ball one-on-one, -on -one, beats the defender, and lobs it over the goalkeeper for the score. He has 18 goals so far this season, and also he earned honorable, honorable mention of the state for the State Athlete of the Month. In other words, he has been tearing it up. But for him, it's not about individual performance, as he shared that it, it is a team game. I'm not the only one on the field, so they're always helping me. They're always assisting, you know, they're, you know, creating chances for me. And I also create chances for them. So, you know, you got to always work hard as a team. And that's what creates a good player as a team. It is going to be interesting to see what the team is going to do in the upcoming weeks. So you're, you're going to want to stay tuned for updates. Now on the women's team, it has been a different story. Their only win so far came against Imperial Valley College where they are able to find the back of the net five times during a rare rainy afternoon. And now they are still working hard. Take a look at this goal from a much sunnier day. Here it is, fresh sophomore Karina Chamberlain sends it up to freshman Juliana Orlandoni. Let's rewind that one more time. Let's see it, let's see it again. So good, perfectly placed ball from Karina and even fantastic header from Juliana. Now from outside the soccer field, the, the cross country teams have also been working hard. And uh, earlier this month, the cross country teams competed in a 5K race against Imperial Valley College. Leading the men's team was sophomore Ishmael Fernandez as he crossed the finish line first with a time of 17.56. There he is right there. And in the women's race, another, another light led the way. Freshman Brianna Coronado finished first with a time of 24.33. Both of the Knights t came out with the victory, and both teams are preparing for next week, which is the conference championship meet. Now, from the outdoors to the indoors, the women's volleyball team has found success this season, as they are currently in third place in the conference. The Knights recently defeated Cuyamaca in Imperial Valley College. Also, last month, the team finished first in the City College Tournament. Yeah, our chemistry on the court really affects how we play. So when we're working well together, we do better, we compete more. Um, we don't have a lot of games left, I want to say less than a month. And so these last games we play, we're going to kill it and play as hard as we can. Moreau leads the team in surface aces per set and is ranked fourth in the state. Also, she's in the top 20 in the state in kills. So far in the season, she has recorded 209. And now that is all the time I have for sports. Make sure to follow New Scene on Twitter and Instagram for any of the latest updates on the teams. Back to you, Gabe and Maria at the desk. Thanks for that, David.